Well, everyone, welcome back to Tour Tuesday as we kick off season three of the EGA Tour. The Elite Golf Association is back. 2023 kicks off our first season as a multi-city tour. We're going to have 10 plus events in Detroit, 10 plus events in Charlotte, a worldwide challenge series match. And we just kicked off the season last weekend here in Detroit with the spring scramble, raising money for the Detroit Youth Classic. We had over 30 people show up in 40 degrees, blistering hail, cold winds blowing. We did not finish 18 holes. A little bit of a mishap, uh, but we did get 11. Some people got it at nine. We ham egged it, we got our way through it, and uh, we showed up and played golf. It was, yep, it was good. It was Honestly, I was surprised how many people showed up. Um, I mean, there was one point um, where someone came up to us and they were like, man, I could check off the bucket list. I never thought I'd have to scrape hail off the green to be able to putt, but hey, Michigan Golf Season starts April 1st. You can bet your bottom dollar the EGA Tour will be playing the first weekend that we can, and we did. We're serious about it, no April Fools. Some people did not believe us, but have no fear. As we plan for the next event, the forecast is looking a little bit better. We'll talk about that in a second. Even through the confusing, un cause actually funny thing about it, I'm gonna bring this up for a second. The Rangers at the course decided, hey, we see lightning out there. We see a lot of thunder. Better go blow the sirens. Hmm. We have an event going on on the front nine. We're actually only gonna blow the siren in the back nine. The front nine, yeah. you know, don't worry about it. So none of us really knew that the course was closed. So we're kind of all like playing out there with lightning and like, you know, some of the people were saying, oh, don't worry, my shoes are rubber. My clubs are, you know, graphite shafts. So. Yeah. Is that, is, is that a plane? You know, we're by the, we're by the <laughs> right, airport. Right. So we all oh, no, it. it's thunder. <laughs> we all made it out alive and everyone's good. And uh, we actually ended up having one team birdie five holes in a row, two teams at six under on the 11th tee uh, with a playoff hole. And the ultimate winners, uh, are Nick, myself, Ethan Freshwater, and Kyle Flowers, who are currently leading the standings with the only event in the book. So remember, the big ways to win points here in the system are play golf, record your scores, uh, improve your handicap throughout the season, and play matches and events. So our next event is going to come up here on April 15th. Why don't you yep. tell us a little about that? Yeah, yeah, we're going to be out there at Fieldstone. We're going to do a two-man best ball, uh, get out there with a partner, um, you can even roll it into match play, do some matches with the people that you're with. I'm really just looking to, again, get out there here early in the season, play a variety of different ways, different courses. And, you know, uh, Billy and, and Nick and Cal, they have that early advantage, but it's so early in the season. Get out there and earn those points early, and who knows where you'll end up going down, going down the line. Yeah, so this weekend, you guys are all going out playing some golf, but I'm thinking I'm just going to stay inside and, and watch the Masters and uh, really just do some studying because watching these guys out there, you know, they're a lot better than we are, so got to take some notes. Yeah, they'll have definitely, it is cool to watch on the range and they talk with the players about, you know, how the different conditions and things affect their golf, and a lot of it is very high level where it may be over my head, but it is cool to see about how they think about those types of things, and you can even implement them into your own game as well. Totally. So given all that, who do you think is going to win the Masters? Uh, there is a certain individual who needs the Masters to complete the career Grand Slam. Uh, he finished second last year. He's playing as about as good as you can play on the tour. I'm going to go with Rory this week. Ooh, that's a good pick. That's a good pick. Yeah. He definitely wants it in the face of all those live guys coming back to the tour, so that'll be interesting to yep, see. Yep, them in their uniforms. Yeah, I hear there's going to be some, <laughs> uh, some new brands out there. Yep. What about you? You know what? Um... Uh, I gotta say Tiger Woods because how could you not? You know, I mean it's Tiger, uh, so we'll just be excited to see him playing. But then on top of that, I'm gonna go with another guy who was competing back the last time we saw Tiger successful at the Masters, who unfortunately hit the water on 12 along with Kepka and Molinari. Go with Tony Finau, the reigning Rocket Mortgage Classic champion, to take home the green jacket. Finau fresh, he would make he would bring a little style to that jacket. Maybe, you know, maybe some uh, some flowers going. So yep. yeah, I'm excited to see. Well, we are filming this video on a Tuesday before the Masters, so tonight was the champions dinner. Um, so everybody always has their different ideas of the menu. Usually something regional, something like that. So uh, what would your main dish or what was one? What would be one thing that you would bring 
to the Masters Champion Dinner, you would have a host one. So speaking of the, the Rocket Mortgage Classic, we haven't seen Tiger participate. Saw a lot of Tiger back at the Buick Open, so we're excited to see Tiger back at the Rocket Mortgage at some point here at the end of his career. But to give Tiger a taste, I would say, you know what? Hey, we're going to have some Coney's. Uh, fresh from Detroit, and we're gonna fly in American and Lafayette just because, you know, as we keep the live PGA Tour thing going and all the rats and everything that are going on at Lafayette, you know, we figured might as well <laughs> keep the rivalry at bay there. I do like it. I was also gonna go with a little Detroit flag. Everybody likes to debate which is the best pizza. And surprisingly, Detroit usually comes out towards the top, so I would go with some Detroit style pizza. Just a variety of different brands, whatever. Just get them all out there and let people try them as, you know, take take the around the world buffet of all the Detroit style pizzas. There you go. And Andrew will be eating pizza at the next event, April 15th, the best ball. And uh, if he was doing the right thing, he'd be eating Tanya's in Royal Oak. Dave Portnoy, I don't know why you haven't done a review yet, but Tanya's is the place to be. It is. Thank you guys. See you next week. See you next week. You ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, my hair look good? Looks phenomenal. Does it look really good or just kind of good? Kind of good. Kind of good. Right, not really good. Maybe next week. <laughs> Maybe next week. Right, cheers. Cheers. This is for the blooper reel. <laughs> ready? Yep. What, what are we going to? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Should I? <laughs> I don't know. Are you going to put your hands up or are we going to say it? Should we do like a fucking like click or something? I think we should pray that we can do this in one cut. All right. One take wonders. <laughs> and action.